All right, this is the uh, TCAP practice test for seventh grade, the math section, question number 48. The table below shows several values of a function. So you'll see that the left side of the little table has x, and the other side says f of x, which means function of x. Which equation represents the function, and what is the function when x is negative 7? That's what that f negative 7 thing is. What I'm going to do is find my and in this statement and draw a line. This reminds me to separate the problem into two sections. I'm going to do the same thing to the answer choices. Now, the reality is, what I want to do is see if in the first group, if I plug in the values of x, I can get the f of x I need, and then I'm going to plug in negative 7 to that equation and see if I can get the answer choices given to me. Uh, so let's try f as my answer choice. What I'm going to do here is do the f of x, quote unquote, and I'm going to plug in the x values in the first column and see if I can get their matching f of x. So I'm using 8x squared plus 7 over 3. That's the f of x that I'm using right now. What that means is I'm going to plug in my x values here, see if I can get that the y value or the f of x I'm looking for. So f of 2, so in this case I'm plugging in the 2 value, I'll do 8 Remember, when you plug things in, you need to put them in parentheses, squared plus 7 over 3. When I type all this out, when I do 8 times 2 squared plus 7, and then I divide by 3, when I plug in that number, I end up getting 13. So when I plug this in, I got this. So this could be the answer. Let's try f of 1. All I'm going to do here is 8 parentheses 1 squared plus 7 over 3. When I plug that in, I get 5. So when I plugged in this, I got this. Things are looking great for me. Let me try f of 0. By the way, when you do this, you should at least see if 4 of them work. 3 or 4. At, at the least 3, but I would check 4 just to be sure. So I'm going to plug in 0 here. If you're wondering how I'm typing in them into the calculator, uh, I'm using a TI-30X, by the way. I'm typing 8 parentheses 0, close the parentheses, square, plus 7, I hit enter. Then I divide that by 3. So 8 parentheses 0, close it, squared, plus 7, I divide that by 3, and it gives me 2. Point 0.3, but what I'm supposed to get is negative 3, and I don't. So anything with 8x squared plus 7 over 3 doesn't work, so they're out. So this is out, and this is out. So I'm thinking the function, uh, that the equation is going to be 8x minus 3, but let's just test it. So if f of x is 8x minus 3, then that means f of 2 should be 8 parentheses 2, minus 3. 8 times 2 is 16, minus 3 gives me 13. So when I plugged in this, I got this. That's a good thing. f of 1, same thing, except you plug 1 in. 8 times 1 is 8, minus 3 gives you 5. So f of 1 is 5. When I plug in 0, um, 8, 0, minus 3. All I'm doing is taking the x again and plugging in the terms in the first column, so anything here, and when I plug it in, I get negative 3, so I plugged in this, I got this, and I'm going to do one more just for my own edification, parentheses negative 1 minus 3, 8 times negative 1 is negative 8, minus 3 more gives me negative 11, so when I plugged in this, I got this, so I'm going to feel confident saying that this is the equation. The problem is H and J both have that equation, so I still haven't figured out the real answer. What I need to do now is take that equation and do F of negative 7. So I'm going to do F of negative 7, which is 8 parentheses negative 7 plus or sorry, minus, I don't know why I wrote plus there, I was thinking of something else, I think, minus 3. So basically I took the 8x minus 3 from earlier, and I'm just reusing it. So I do 8 parentheses negative 7 minus 3, and it gives me negative 59. So when I plugged in negative 7, I should get negative 59, which means in my little chart up here, I would get this. 
And since I have an answer that talks about negative 59 and has my answer choice, I'm going to say that J is my correct answer for number 48. Just based on the fact that I was able to split the problem into two parts and solve each one individually, I was able to get the correct answer without too much of an overall headache.